All right, it's time for your pinpoint weather and traffic together. It's 548. We are looking at dry skies this morning, but it is quite cold. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar showing that well, we have dry roads in terms of there's no rain or snow falling on them, but there are some areas of black ice. I saw some uh, on my way in. Uh, some of those side streets still are a little slick and uh, some of the on and off ramps as well. Even some of the highways has some ice on them. 8 in Coventry, 12 in Charlestown, 17 in Newport, over in Fall River. A lot of reports of temperatures uh, in the lower 20s over there. Live city cam picture, we are dry. We're not expecting to see any big problems at all today in terms of uh, clouds or precipitation. Just some ice this morning. 14 degrees at Pacasset Bay Retirement Living over there in Johnston. Winds are light, tending from the northwest. The satellite radar picture showing the skies clearing out with uh, dry air in place and light winds and clear skies. The temperatures are allowed to fall very quickly and that's why we're finding a lot of different uh, temperatures this morning. Some in the single digits, some in the lower 20s. Wherever the winds are picking up, it's a little bit milder like there in Fall River. Your future cast for today, we are going to be seeing plenty of sunshine. Now we're going to take you into the weekend hours and we are still looking at the chance for some snow. We'll show you that in a second. This evening, no snow. Looking nice and quiet for the evening commute. Now take Taking you into the weekend, we are going to be seeing some sunshine on Saturday, but clouds will be arriving through the day and then getting out of here. Then some more clouds on Sunday. Now we're going to jump ahead into Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening. Notice we've got a little batch of snow working its way towards southern New England. This is the two. Uh, second of two computer models that have been uh, showing uh, the uh, emergence of some more widespread snow than what we've been seeing for the past couple of days. So we could actually be seeing well, maybe some uh, a small to moderate accumulation Sunday night into Monday morning, something that we'll be monitoring very closely through the daytime today and, of course, right through the weekend. Your morning commute, there's some areas of black ice giving it the yellow caution light, but in general, the roads are just fine. But there are some stretches of roadway where there's some ice on it. 30 degrees in, on the east side for the afternoon, 30 in Pawtucket, 30 degrees in downtown Providence. Let's take you on over into Riverside. We're looking at a high temperature around 30 degrees, 29 in Warwick, 31 degrees in Cranston. Along the south shore, temperatures should be topping out about 31 in Newport, I think. We'll have light winds today, tending from the west northwest, 5 to 10 miles an hour. Up in northern Rhode Island, we should be seeing a high around 27 in Boroughville. You're in the single digits right now. I saw a report from Woonsocket of 6 degrees. So right now it's 27 uh, for the afternoon. That's what my forecast is for. 31 in Fall River, 32 degrees over in New Bedford. Now, here's your live pinpoint Doppler 12 seven day future cast, and we are expecting to see a decent day tomorrow. A blend of clouds and sunshine, maybe some extra clouds later in the day. Temperatures climbing up to about 33 degrees uh, during the afternoon. Now on Sunday, still looking at the potential for some snow, probably uh, uh, late day and into the evening hours. Big storm, not likely, but some accumulations, as I mentioned, are possible and they could linger into Monday. Right now, Tuesday and Wednesday look dry and we're looking at the potential for a wintry mix, perhaps, on uh, Thursday. And you can always get the update of future cast from meteorologist Tony Petrarca. He'll be in later today at Eyewitness News Live at 5. Let's get a look now at that morning commute with you.